Hey guys, welcome to Hammer Paint. Um, I just thought I'd throw a quick feed up there while sitting down doing some work on my um, Russian T3485s. Um, just wanted to uh, just show you guys. Now, um, you, you hear a lot in the hobby about people not being able to afford um, models and stuff like that. And um, sometimes you hear that Battlefront's got rather expensive models and when you're looking at armies such as the Russian army and you want to field tank um, battalions and stuff like that it really can get quite expensive and um, this is uh, this right here is the um, is a perfect perfect example of um, that you can you can actually enter uh, flames of war with a tank horde army quite inexpensively by going to um, other companies. Um, these are Plastic Soldier Company. Um, now the reason I got Plastic Soldier Company is because I already own 30 T-34 uh, 76s. Um, so I, I got 30 of them and I thought, you know what, well, I'm not going to go and buy another 20 um, boxes at 60 bucks a box um, to field uh, another Russian uh, a late war Russian tank avoid guards tank avoid company. Um, so th these guys um, cost me in Australian thirty five dollars a box for five, which um, is half price. Actually, I think they're about thirty three, but with postage and everything, there was about thirty five. But which is fantastic. I mean, you know, it's the the detail is second to none. In fact, I think these have got more detail than some of the Battlefront ones. Um, they have, um, uh, they've got like if you glue them up in a way. See if we can get this. Their barrels have actually got elevation. Um, they actually move up and down, give you the elevation. Um, and they're basically just a peg into a hole for their turret. Which you know, I'm. That's you know quite okay for me. Um, I, I really don't care. Which um, is good for the 85 because it really does simulate the tank trap um, underneath here quite well. It shows shows that quite well. The Battlefront one does as well, but it's got this massive big chunk of resin that sort of comes out. And it sits, it's, you know, as you know, the battlefront's got a hole, and it sits into the hole, uh, like this whole round piece here sits into a, a larger hole, uh, and it just looks a little awkward, the turret, and I think these turrets are a little neater. Now, not to mention, with this box set, you buy, um, they come five to a box, um, and you get the T-34 76mm turrets, which is the mid, early and mid-war turret, um, and then you get the uh, late war turret as well. Um, so the only thing I sort of stuffed up with is I bought two boxes because I wanted to fill ten of them, ten of these, and ten 3476s. And I forgot to um, get myself just one for a command tank. So I'm going to have to just buy one single battlefront one for a command tank, which is fine, it's 13 bucks. So all up I've got. Um, I could field a minimum requirement army with two boxes of these and a HQ for all and around about 70 bucks um, and that's pretty much a minimum tank tank company um, but anyway I'm still working on them, I've got the tracks to do um, I've got uh, lots of detail, this is just literally sprayed um, uh, I think it was Russian green and then a series of highlights um, to bring them back it's, uh, there's a couple of brown washes and stuff like that on there and now I've got to go in and pick out um, the barrel straps here for the fuel tank um, some some cabling got to get the tracks I'm um, going to do some weathering I drilled out all the barrels to give them a bit more of a, um, a bit more of a, a, a realistic look um, they got some flash I, I, I noticed I had a little bit of flashing here and there on the barrels, but other than that, they're, they're pretty good. They're a solid buy. Um, 
and I recommend anyone getting into the hobby that wants to do a Russian army for a re relatively low price, this is definitely the way to go, buy Plastic Soldier. Um, I'm not saying that the Battlefront ones are no good, I think the Battlefront ones are absolutely fantastic, but bang for buck, and because you need so many of them, um, Plastic Soldier Company is definitely a good good way to go. A lot of the blokes that I do play with um, really are anti anything but Battlefront, but what they do do is they'll buy, say, a box of Battlefront and a box of Plastic Soldier to give that little bit of a um, different look in the army, so you know, your tanks are just slightly different here and there and in subtle ways, um, and also that cuts down on half the price as well. Alright guys, um, cheers for that, eh?